Hi everyone and welcome to another video in this video is about multicam editing in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Now the reason why I decided to do this video is because I usually use Final Cut for editing but over the past couple of days I've been sort of playing a bit more with Prem because I'm led to believe that Akintoshis may go off at some point and if they do I won't be using Final Cut anymore because I won't be paying stupid money for a, a Mac with shit specs. I'll just go back to Windows and use Adobe Premiere Pro instead. Um, anyway, I've been basically bringing in 4K multi-camera footage, downscaling it to 1080p, and I just want to tell you the problems that I've been facing along the way. Um, I nearly gave up and thought, you know what, it's rubbish. Um, I'll just go back to Final Cut. So basically what we're going to do is... It, this will apply whether you use the in Adobe Premiere to do your multicam or you use Pluralize. So basically, if you look here, we've got a list of proxies, which I'll show you in another video. Uh, basically, you make proxy files. You can right click on your multicamera folder and then you go to proxy and you can create proxies. And when you go to create proxies, you can actually create, uh, you can choose what you want. So you've got H264. Um, or QuickTime, which I chose 1280 by 720 proxies, which is still HD. You don't even really need HD, to be fair. It's only so that when I'm cutting the four angles, um, the playback smoothly so I can cut correctly. But anyway, basically, all we've got in, in this folder is my angles, and I've also got the audio from... The, on the table here, there's a, a, a Zoom H1, which we use just to pick up the vicar and the speakers. Um, we should have had a stand with us, but we didn't have it, but it worked fine with a bit of enhancement. And then we've got one on the groom here. So basically I've done no editing so far. You can see how it says attached here. All I've done is created the proxies. Um, they're not activated as of yet, but I've created them. So in a minute, I'll show you how to activate them. So nothing's been done right at this moment in time. So now this applies to a, a final cut as well. Um, especially if you use Pluralize, you don't want to downscale anything yet Well, you've done all your Pluralize work. If you downscale first, meaning now, if I create a sequence at 1920 by 1080 instead of 3840 by 2160, it'll downscale it now and then when Pluralize edits it and creates me another new sequence, when I use that new sequence, it'll be 1080p, yes, but I'll lose my zoom feature. It'll be like it was recorded at 1080p and I won't be able to zoom in 50%. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a minute. So one of the first things first, what I would do is I would just drag one of them to the timeline and now what that's done is it's created as a sequence, as you can see. Uh, we'll just rename that sequence. Uh, sorry, hang on. I'll just um, go to the sequence settings. And if you have a look, you'll see it's created as a 3840 by 2160. Now, I did say we we're going to downscale. And we will downscale in a minute, but not yet. Because we're going to use Pluralize. Um, basically, we can't downscale yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the angles on the... Um, let me just have a look. Is this 542 and 543? This should be that same angle. Yep, same angle. Right, so there you go. So we'll just go to 48 and this is Dave's, I think. So all I'm doing is dragging the video tracks across to the... Um... Oh, just hang on. Let me undo that. Have I just... Right, so we've got that, we've got that there, and we'll just put these here. There you go. And then we'll go down to this, we'll shift and down arrow. This is my angle. Doesn't really well matter where you put them, um, but we're just going to make a timeline, which everybody who uses Premiere will know how to do this. So now we've got our four cameras. It, well, we did use four cameras, we used three fixed. And we used a glide cam. Dave was using a glide cam. So I'll also drag the audio in as well. That's one audio file. That's the, the, the groom. And then we've got the vicar. Um, I've called it the vicar, but it's... There you go. So now we've got everything on the timeline. Let me just close this folder so we don't confuse things. And bearing in mind, we've got it on the timeline. And 
it is. I'll just turn these proxy files off for a second. We've got it on the timeline and it is still 4K. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Window, Extensions, Pluralize. And under the settings, I've got the top two settings ticked. I've not done the bottom one because the bottom one will create you a new sequence with the audio replaced. If you only had one audio file, that would be a good, good idea to do it. But as I've got two audio files, I don't know which one Premiere will choose. It'll choose the one that I tell it to. And then it might kill me Vickers audio, so I've got two files. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And all I'm going to do is click the synchronize button. I'm going to leave this as well, do it real time. So this is a full wedding. It was only about 15 minutes long, though. Um, it was in the town hall in Leeds. So it was a quick wedding. But I'll let it do it live. So you can actually watch it. So there you go. You can see now if we... I can just close this box now. You can see now that everything looks synced. If you look down here, you'll see all the audio files. They are synced. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the, the, the top, top video and audio. And I'm going to right click. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to create a nested clip. I like to use a nested clip. It just, it just keeps it neater. So I'll create a nested clip, clip and I'll call it Multicam edited right just for the so now you can see that it's all in that sequence uh, we've got some sequences here as well so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create this is now where we're going to downscale and um, i'll just right click and multi-camera enable and you'll see now if we turn the multi-camera icon on you can see now we've got a multi-camera and my computer is really revving up really hard because it's still 4K at the minute. If I try play this, you can see it really, really badly stepping. Um, if I just now turn the proxies on, you, did you see it zoom in and zoom out a little bit? Watch. On, right. Oh, I'm on the wrong camera. That's the multicam. Oh, let me just show you how to get this proxy uh, window up. If we click the plus icon here, your proxy switch is there. You just click and drag it into this window. Um, so that's now my proxy selected. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create a new sequence, sequence settings. And this is the one, sorry, that's not the right way to do it. I want to create a new sequence. So I'll just shut all this up. Now I'm going to right click and hit new item, new sequence. And I'm going to create a 1080p at 25 frames. Why have I chose 1080p? Because obviously we're downscaling to 1080p. And my 4K footage was shot at 25p. So I'm going to choose the same frame rate. Now if we go OK, we've now got that, which is called sequence 7. Um, just remember that. So if we come back here now, I'm going to copy all this lot. I'm just going to select all. Command C. Then I'm going to go to sequence 7. And I'm going to go command V. And if we just go and have a look at the settings of sequence 7, you will see that sequence 7 is 1920. So this is now where we are, basically this is now where we have downscaled. We made our multicam first, we synced it all up, and now we've downscaled. Now if I just show you, if it hasn't crashed, because someone tells me it might have just crashed, um, because we're getting no photo, let me just... Check that the multi camera is still enabled. Yep, okay. So the multi camera is still there. So we've got number two. We'll just turn, see, see how it's gone off. Right, so there you go. That's Premiere for you. Um, let's just hit yes. We'll reopen it again. That's another thing I have had it crash a couple of times. It basically, what's happened there is the video just disappeared. And you can see we've got the video back there now. Um, I'll just turn the multi-camera and you can see the camera's back. If we play it now, I'll just show you me playing it all. You'll see that all the cameras are smooth as silk. But you will notice that they're zoomed in. That's not the correct, re correct camera angle. So what we'll do is we'll just... Um,
I'll just forward on here while she comes down there. Let's just get our angles up. So now we've got four angles, watch I'll play it. If you watch the glide cam here, you'll see it's as smooth as silk. I'll just turn the proxies off and show you what happens now, watch. Right, my computer's revving really hard, can you see it? Look, look, the glide cam's practically stopped. I'll just stop by pressing spacebar, turn the proxies back on, watch this now. And you'll see that the glide cam is now back again. Uh, and there he is, Dave, walking around with the glide cam. So that's that. So what we're going to do now is um, we need to sort that zoom out. Can you see how it's zoomed funny? So if you click on the the grey grey banner, and what we'll do is we'll select this camera first instead of that one. If we go up to the effects controller, you can see we're at 100. What you do is you type in 50. Watch that angle now, watch. Can you see how now it's zoomed back? That's because, basically, because it's on a 1080p timeline and it's 4K, it's zoomed in. So you can see now that we've zoomed it back to 50%. So now we've got, I'll just, just make things a little bit bigger here. Uh, sorry, I'm, I am working right-handed because I've injured my left. So I'm struggling a bit to move stuff about. But you can see that, and we'll just, um, we'll go to camera two as well. And that's automatically zoomed. Watch, we'll put it back to 100, watch. That's 4K. And that's now 50%, we'll take it to 1080, that's as we shot it. So now, when we're editing, we've got all that extra 50% that we can zoom the video, so we can crop, we can crop, we can make it look like we were zooming in on a dolly, or something like that, that's really good. Um, so again, we'll just come back to these four cameras. Um, well, we'll edit it live, watch this, I'll just show you it playing live. Here she starts coming down the aisle, so we'll select this camera. So now I'm actually going to play it and edit it live. So she's coming down the aisle, watch. And you can see that I'm here taking the photographs. My camera is set up ready. Um, Dave's now ran off to go get his camera going. Let me just turn the, the audio down. And Dave's just got set up here, look, you can see. Now she's just going to go kiss her dad. So I'm going to swap to that camera. Bang, he's kissed her. Now I'm going to go back to this camera. Can you see how it's zoomed in? Well, if I press space bar and stop, it does go back out. For some reason, Adobe Premiere Pro keeps it looking like it's uh, 4K still, but it's not. It's actually 1080p. So if we just keep playing the wedding on now, this is me now. My camera's just coming on here. I've just jumped onto it, and I'm going to focus in a minute, and we'll just go and have a look at Billy there. I'm now in focus, so we can just now swap to me. Let's press space bar and we'll go again. Oops, and there she just walked in the way of the frame. So I'll go back arrow, there you go. Rewinding, and now I shall go to the centre camera. And there you go, she's now going to announce herself to everybody. I'm just going to take a look at this angle here. You can keep pressing your space bar to stop. So now she's going to go put the flowers down. So we'll go back to the centre camera. You can see the task I'm here. Uh, so basically you can keep pressing space bar. Um, I don't want any of the front shots now because she's messing around with the bra strap or something like that. So we'll keep it on the back camera while she gets sorted. Now we might go back to Dave. Can you see how I look zoomed in there? But watch, if I click the angle, I'm actually not. It's just the way the preview works. So that basically now is how you... How you turn, this is how you turn your proxies on and off. Watch, we'll play it again with all, all proxies off. Look, it's stepping awfully. Look at the state of that. Press space bar. The glide cam's just coming on now, look. Can watch it play all these four angles, lovely. As we want, we can go to the glide cam. By the way, it might be zoomed in a bit. There you go. So we'll now go to the glide cam. Right, okay, you can just see me there, so we'll just go back a bit. And we'll swap to this angle, get it back off the glide cam. You can see Dave down here, look, walking about, look. And we'll go back to mine, just press the space bar, there's the speaker. Go back to the glide cam. Ignore the zoomed in, it does, like I say. So that's it, that's basically how to do multi-camera editing in Premiere Pro. Now, the problem I was getting was when I created the proxies 
um, it didn't actually, if we go back in and we just drop down the uh, wedding, you'll see now that it's saying proxy here, activated, attached, sorry. When I created the proxies, for some unknown reason, it didn't attach them. So I was turning on this icon on and off and it, and it wasn't, it was like, it, it looked, went blue and I thought, well, why is it not playing smooth? And then I finally figured that it had not attached the proxies. So I, I had to basically select each file, go to proxy, attach proxies, and I found the proxy that I'd created and I did it to all the files and then it were great, it worked straight away. And soon as I hit that proxy button and it's base bar, everything played absolutely buttery smooth. That is actually four 4K screams, and uh, screams, four, ah, oh, see it's cutting now, look. I think it cut because I won't make, can you see how it's cut now? Look, I'll show you the cuts that we've just done. I just want to show you something that you can do with the cuts now. So we've just done this. Let's just turn the multi-camera off and you'll see it cut now, watch. There's, it's coming up to a cut now. And then we've cut. And just keep going to the next angle and we've cut again. Then we cut again. Now, this is, remember when I was telling you that got downscaling 4K, if we press da uh, both arrow keys, we can now scale this back up. So it's at 50, so I could go, um, I don't know, let's put 70 and then it go. So now I've just scaled that. I hope it hasn't done the other angle as well. It shouldn't have done the other angle. That should still be 50. Yeah, and that one's 70, look. So now we've just scaled that. If we just go back to 50, 50. 50, right, so what we'll do is we'll click on it. So we'll zoom it into 85%. We can now use the position. Um. Is the vicar there? No, she's not. So what we'll do is we'll go something like this. There you go. There you go, look. So basically, we've just zoomed that clip in. Now, it might look a bit crap on the proxy, but if I turn the proxy off now, we've turned the multi-camera switch off. We should be cool. So I'll turn the proxy off now, and you'll see that it's not lost any quality to go from 50% back to 100. So we'll just reset that. Uh, 100, that's the starting point, but remember, we knocked it down to 50 because we went to 1080p. So you can apply that 50% back on to crop your video afterwards at a lossless quality. And that's what everybody's doing nowadays. And it's a really, really good thing to do. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope this helps. Bearing in mind, if you use Pluralize to create um, and do the same thing in Final Cut, you've got to downscale it when you basically, you bring it into Final Cut, you create a 4K, not sequence, can't remember what you call it now, a library uh, project, library project, and then you drop your footage onto it, you send it to Pluralize, you get it back from Pluralize, and the file that you get back from Pluralize is the file that you then drop into a 1080p project, not a library, into a 1080p project. If you don't, and you drop the 4K footage straight into a 1080p sequence or project in Final Cut's case, when it goes to Pluralize and comes back and you try Zoom, you'll have no Zoom. You'll Zoom and you'll go, oh, my video's all pixelating because you lose the 4K. So you downscale it after you've made the multi-camera and it's gone to Pluralize and back. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.